Bob's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. Disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Again. Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But what if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... <sighs> look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just to me you know it was it was so little you don't think about babies anymore but after a while you just kind of accept this is it yeah I guess you kind of forget <laughs> right but then you know there it is you see it and you want to protect it and and now it's gone that sucks Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here! Everyone! Shit! Come on, we gotta find Roman. Yes, ma'am. It's okay, I'll be there. Jeez. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. Second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger if group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. 
You have a point. I don't know. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. You're right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Myself. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, Give him some food, when, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith, and get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today, and if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are. You wish you had died today. You're taking a big risk. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive, and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you, uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. No one's watering these.
Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh, my God. What are they going to do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel... I don't know. Oppressive? We've made it safe. And she was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us 100%. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be her last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Shell. Time.
I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Sorry. Me too.